systems or some uh, introduction we'll consider the introduction to sommerfeld model okay so sommerfeld modified the free electron model by taking into account of quantum statistics and pauli's exclusion principle he has taken into account of quantum statistics so he considered quantum statistical distribution function uh, instead of the classical distribution function and he considered the pauli's exclusion principle so electrons are distributed in accordance with the fermi dirac distribution function and they obey the pauli's exclusion principle he considered these two major theories to explain the electron distribution and how they contribute for the conduction process adanna explain madlike id eradu important points anna consider madu okay so what are the assumptions of sommerfeld model okay what are the major postulates of sommerfeld model we'll consider first one is the free electrons are the valence electrons of the composing atoms he considered the free electrons which are available for conduction are nothing but they are the valence electrons so all valence electrons are contributing for, for the conduction but all free electrons are not available for conduction they are available in accordance with the quantum distribution statistics okay so this explains why copper and silver why copper and silver have the uh higher conductivity that can be explained using sommerfeld model okay and then a second one the valence electron in metal finds itself in the field of all ions so there will be uh, electric field due to ions present in the metal and that of other electron so electron will experience some force due to the electric field produced by ions and other electrons in this model the mutual repulsion between the electrons is neglected and the potential field representing the attractive interaction of ions is assumed to be completely uniform everywhere inside the solid so repulsion between the electron is neglected and the electric field due to ions in the metal they are the, that electric field assumed to be uniform everywhere inside the metal and because of this postulate the uh, bands of energy okay the energy bands are formed in accordance with this model okay energy band formation actually based on energy bands conduction band and valence band are formed and using this band theory of solids you can explain how metal how semiconductors are having different conductivity and why insulators are bad conductors okay that can be explained by uh, this particular postulate okay so there is a formation of conduction band and valence bands so overlapping of conduction band and valence band gives you good conductivity okay so metals have overlapped uh, conduction band and valence band okay so you remember the electrons will experience the electric field due to ions and due to other electrons but here the mutual repulsion between the electrons is neglected why it is neglected because the mutual repulsion repulsion is a smaller in magnitude whereas <clears throat> the attractive interaction between the electrons and ions is more and that is observed to be uniform adu uniform ide anteli consider maarthe then third point the potential energy of an electron at rest inside the metal is assumed to be lower than that of the electron outside the metal okay it is very important point the elect potential energy of the electron which is inside the metal which is bounded to the metal is assumed to be lower it is very very low compared to that of an electron outside the metal okay and the electron cannot escape from the metal even though it is having 
ದ ಸಫಿಷಿಯಂಟ್ ಕೈನೆಟಿಕ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಅಷ್ಟು ಈಸಿಯಾಗಿ ಹೊರಗೆ ಬರ್ಲಿಕ್ಕೆ ಆಗುದಿಲ್ಲ ಸೊ ಅಯೋನೈಸೇಷನ್ ಕೆನಾಟ್ ಬಿ ಅಬ್ಸರ್ವ್ ಈಸಿ ಬಟ್ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿಸ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಓಕೆ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಇಂಪಾರ್ಟೆಂಟ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ದ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಫಾರ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಇಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ ಇನ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ಓಕೆ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನಿಕ್ ಪೆನ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಬ್ಲಾಕ್ ಥೇರಮ್ ಅಂತ ಬರ್ತದೆ ಸೊ ಇನ್ ದಟ್ ಥೇರಮ್ ಯು ವಿಲ್ ಸ್ಟಡಿ ದಟ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಪೀರಿಯಾಡಿಕ್ ಇರ್ತದೆ ಅಂತ ಹೇಳಿ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ ದಟ್ ಐ ವಿಲ್ ನಾಟ್ ಕನ್ಸಿಡರ್ ಇನ್ ದಿಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ ಯೂನಿಟ್ ಬಟ್ ಯು ರಿಮೆಂಬರ್ ಸಮ್ಮರ್ ಫೀಲ್ಡ್ ಮಾಡೆಲ್ ಟೇಕ್ಸ್ ಕೇರ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಥೇರಿ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಮ್ ಮೆಕ್ಯಾನಿಕ್ಸ್ ವೇರ್ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಆಫ್ ಅನ್ ಎಲೆಕ್ಟ್ರಾನ್ ಈಸ್ ಲೋವರ್ ಇನ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ಅಂಡ್ ಔಟ್ ಸೈಡ್ ದಿ ಮೆಟಲ್ ದ ಪೊಟೆನ್ಶಿಯಲ್ ಎನರ್ಜಿ ಇಸ್ ಹೈಯರ್ ಓಕೆ ಸೊ and the potential energy is periodic so that point you remember fourth one the free electron gas in the solid does not obey classical maxwell boltzmann statistical law okay according to this summerfeld model it does not obey classical statistical distribution function but the distribution of energy in an electron gas obeys fermi dirac quantum statistics okay that is very important point in summerfeld model the electrons are distributed in accordance with fermi dirac statistical distribution function okay but in classical theory maxwell boltzmann distribution function is assumed to be valid but that is not true according to this summerfeld model and according to this quantum mechanics that is very important point okay fifth one in a metal the energy levels are filled okay in accordance with the pauli's exclusion principle okay the filled and tagbe sorry filled and tagide uh, the energy levels are filled in accordance with the pauli's exclusion principle according to which an energy level can accommodate at the most two electrons one with the spin up and other with spin down every energy state or every energy level can accommodate only two electrons so that is very important point pauli's exclusion principle has to be obeyed okay so electrons are distributed in such a way that in every energy level only two electrons can be occupied okay that is one of the postulate of summerfeld model andre electron yav tara distribute agirutade one energy level is there only two electrons are allowed for example in helium helium atom alli in s subshell only two electrons are there if there is a third electron it has to go for the next shell 1s2 then 2s2 quantum number 2 aagutade 2s2 aanantra you should go for 2p6 like that so that is how the electrons are distributed in accordance with the pauli's exclusion principle then sixth point assuming these free electrons within the metal which is having the lower potential energy potential energy is almost zero and using the solution of schrodinger equation for this case we get the allowed energy values of the electrons within the metal as e equal to n square h square divided by 8 ml square so this is the expression for energy of the particle in a potential well of width l one dimensional potential well where n is the quantum number h is the planck's constant m is the mass of the electron and this expression is uh, uh, gives you the energy eigen value and corresponding eigen function is psi of x equal to square root of 2 by l into sin of n pi x divided by l so what we consider in this case in summerfeld model electrons free electrons in a metal are considered as the particle in a box a metal olgade and the particle ide which is allowed to move within the metal having certain volume certain length width and height etc so this metal or this electron can move inside the metal in accordance with this schrodinger equation okay it gives you the energy of the electron that is equal to n square h square divided by 8 ml square the electron in the first shell is obtained by using n equal to 1 n equal to 2 gives you the second shell n equal to 3 gives you the third shell like that third state fourth state like that in the first state 
two electrons are allowed. So energy equal to one square into h square divided by eight ml square. I energy one the electrons are there. There are electrons are there. One electron with up spin, another electron with down spin, like that. In the second state, again two more electrons are there. Third state, two more electrons are. There. That is how the electrons are distributed in this particular uh, metal. Okay. So these are the important assumptions of the. Some important assumptions of the summer field model. Okay, the energy health is the first point. Free electrons are nothing but they are valence electrons. Okay, so these valent valence electrons, uh, they experience the electric field inside the solid or inside the metal because of that. The band theory of solid develops. Bands are energy bands are observed, and here the mutual repulsion between the electrons are neglected. And the attractive interaction of ions is assumed to be uniform because of that the band theory of solid develops. Then potential energy of the electron inside the metal is very small; it is almost zero. There is free then free electron, but it is higher outside the metal. Potential energy is observed to be out, uh, higher outside the metal, and potential energy for an electron is observed to be periodic. That is in accordance with. Quantum theory. Fourth point is important. So the electrons are distributed in accordance with Fermi-Dirac quantum statistics. Fermi-Dirac distribution function is used to study the distribution of electrons. Then fifth point is also important. Electrons obey Pauli's exclusion principle. Okay, no two electrons can have same set of quantum numbers because of that each energy level can occupy can accommodate only two electrons, one with up spin. One with down spin. Then fifth point: the electrons are considered to be the particle in a box. So using that, you can write the Schrödinger equation for that electron. Okay, and the energy eigenvalue is given by E is equal to n square h square divided by eight ml square. That is actually energy of particle in a box. I think you have studied in quantum mechanics in the fifth semester. And corresponding eigen function is given by this particular equation. This is the wave function. This is the energy of particle in the box.